This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And while supplies last, if you mention Saffron Olive in your order notes, we'll hook you up with a free Saffron Olive sticker with any Card Kingdom order. Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive. And it's time for another edition of Much A Brew About Nothing. So last week, during our instant deck decks, we had a really clear winner for most popular deck deck, and that was Ball Lightning Tribal for Modern. So today, we're heading to Modern to see if we can smash some opponents into the dust with Ball Lightning, Lightning Skelemental coming back from the graveyard again and again and again with the help of Thunderkin Awakener and Unearth, and that's basically the plan of the deck. Ball Lightning slash Skelemental our opponent to death just by attacking over and over and over and over and over again. So like usual, we're going to do a super quick two-minute refresher deck deck. If you want a full breakdown of the deck, check out the instant deck deck for Ball Lightning Tribal. I'll link it in the description box down below. Before we jump into it, a super quick reminder. If you haven't already, it would be sweet of you. If you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Ball Lightning Tribal, starting with OG Ball Lightning. So six damage on a hasty trampling three mana creature. The problem is it goes away at the end of turn. Uh, but really, it's like a double lava spike, essentially. And now, thanks to Modern Horizons, we have an upgrade as well. We gotta have some black mana for Lightning Skelemental, but it does the same thing as Ball Lightning, plus when it hits it makes our opponent discard two cards. So the idea of this deck is to keep reusing our Ball Lightnings and our Lightning Skelementals, even though they're going to go away at the end of turn. First off, we have Unearth, which reanimates something, converted mana cost three or less, perfect for either Skelemental or Ball Lightning, so we can smash our opponent next turn, Unearth for one mana, get back the Ball Lightning Skelemental, do it again, and even better, thanks to Corsair 2020 we have Thunderkin Awakener, which is like an Unearth, but it does it every single turn. So when it attacks, we can reanimate an elemental with toughness of one, essentially, or less, I guess, uh, which means we can attack with Thunderkin. We get back our Skelemental or Ball Lightning. It's even tapped in attacking. We smash our opponent. The Ball Lightning or Skelemental goes away at the end of turn, but that's fine because next turn, we attack again with our Thunderkin, smash in again, get back the Skelemental or Ball Lightning, which adds up to a ton of hasty trampling damage and a bunch of discard if we have Skelemental going into our opponent's face. Otherwise, Faithless Looting and Slit Neonate, this kind of speeds up the deck. We can turn one, use one of these cards to get our Skelemental or Ball Lightning in the graveyard, and then turn two, we can Thunderkin Awakener or Unearth to start smashing in with our Ball Lightnings. Dreadhorde Cat is a little bit weird. It can, like, get back our Unearth, which can get back our Thunderkin Awakener, which can then get back our Skelemental. Does it actually work if we just reanimate a Skelemental right away because it's already attacking, which is a little awkward? But we also have a lot of value spells. Lightning Bolts, Discard that we can flash back with our Canis. Then we have Young Pyromancer, Season Pyromancer, just value creatures that keep us churning through our deck, making some tokens. As far as our removal spells, Lightning Bolt, Fatal Push, Dismember, let us deal with creatures. Bolt can also go face. Inquisition, Thought Seas for discard. Cole against Command, another backup way to get a Skelemental, a Ball Lightning, back from our graveyard. Mana Base, Bunch of Fetch Lands, some random duels, some shocks, some basics. In the sideboard, Leyline of Void for graveyards. Fulminator Mage, we can keep reanimating it with the help of Unearth to blow up Tron lands, Plague Engineer for tribal decks, other decks with small creatures, a braid, engineered explosives, more removal, Sahili, a nice backup plan if our graveyard's gonna be shut down, we can just play Sahili with our Pyromancer and just kind of make a bunch of tokens as we cast our spells. And that is Ball Lightning Tribal for Modern, and that's our much of brew deck for this week. So thank you so much for watching. Let's jump into the gameplay, see if this deck can actually work in practice. I hope you enjoy it, and yeah, I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. Alright. Much brew about nothing time. We are playing some Ball Lightning Tribal in the modern format. And we got a Ball Lightning to go with our uh, tribal deck. Oh, this should be interesting. Ooh, and a Skelemental. Boy, I'm almost tempted to Inquisition ourselves <laughs> to put Lightning Skelemental in the graveyard for Thunderkin, but I don't think we're... Oh. Oh. Narset, Narset. Well, we're taking, we're taking Surgical, passing the turn. So opponent's playing a Narset control deck. Oust is a little bit annoying. Drawing a, hmm. Drawing a Faithless Looting is probably our best bet. Opponent, pass it. Ugh, another Skelemental. Well, run out Arcanist. 
Come on, land for Skelemental to absolutely wreck our opponent. We're one land away. One lad, one lad from living the ball lightning dream. Man, if we draw a lad, we get to ball lightning, ball lightning, ball lightning, thunder can awaken our ball lightning. Uh, that should hopefully smash our opponent into submission. I kind of wish our opponent had path instead of oust. The problem here and how this could go wrong is if our opponent ousts, if our opponent ousts, and then we whiff on lands, we're stuck drawing Dreadhorde Arcanist and not doing much for another turn. Opponent ops to the top. On taps. Place a land. There's the oust, unfortunately. All right, deck. Give us something. Opponent passes. Well, that's a land. So, well, we will... Skelemental. Here we come. Here we come for you. Oh, did our opponent actually draw a counter? Hollowed Fountain. Uh, looks like they did draw a counter. All right, all right, all right. There's a logic knot. Ugh. Pass the turn. Well, that was a that was a good draw for our opponent. Untaps. Two Narsets unknown in hand. There's a Narset. Takes down. Please not surgical. Please not surgical. To fairy. Okay. Opponent passes. Well, this turn's going to be sweet. Now we get to untap. Thunderkin Awakener. Go to combat. Attack our opponent. Skelemental. Returns. Attacks our opponent. Empty the hand. Down to two cards with more to come. And that's what this deck can do. Opponent had some disruption, but we have some Skelementals. Opponent takes it. Down to ten. What do they discard? Oh, that is sweet. Thunderkid, Skelemental. That's a, that's a combo. Narset to Fairy discarded. Okay. Well, then we will just bolt Narset. Pass the turn. Skelemental goes away. Opponent. Well, they need something good. They got to deal with Thunderkin, but we also have another Skelemental in hand. So the fun is continuing, and a ball lightning is a backup. Opponent. Passing. Hmm. Well, we will play Skelemental. They just keep coming. The ball lightnings never end. Opponent. Pass our Thunderkin. So we will grab a land. Skelemental down. Combat. Attack. Hand. Officially emptied. Opponent. Officially down to four. And. Wow. We got rid of a timely too. Pass the turn. And. OG Ball Lightning to finish things off next turn. Opponent. Ops. Okay. To the bottom. Well, play Dreadhorn Arcanist. See if we can bait out a counter. All right. Play Ball Lightning. Combat. Swing. You got an answer? And that is Ball Lightning's trampling all over the control deck. Running over control. That was pretty impressive. Opponent played Planeswalkers, and we just ball lightning them into oblivion, essentially. Just lightning, lightning, lightning. Keep it going, keep it going. Uh, all right, against control, I think we want Sahili's as a more resilient threat, especially since a graveyard could get shut down. So bring in Sahili's, go down the Dismember, go down Insolent Neonate. We could bring in Fulminator. I'm not sure it's really worth it. Explosives, no. Abrade, no. Plague Engineer, no. Yeah, I mean, I think that's basically our plan against Control, is to hopefully pick up a part with Discard, and then just Skelemental them into Submission. That's plan A, B, and C in the Control matchup. Huh. Well, two Fatal Pushes isn't ideal. But Thought Seize is good. And, I mean, eventually we should draw... A faithless looting to get rid of these fatal pushes. Thought sees you. Opponent ops. Surgical cryptic Narset detention sphere. Hmm. Well, I guess we take surgical. Surgical does kind of ruin our day a bit with this thunderkin in hand. Ugh. Yeah, these two, we really want to draw a faithless looting. Opponent plays the island and passes. Now, Bloodstained Mire. Crack it. Grab a mountain and well run out a not that threatening thunder kid go to combat get in for one opponent down to 19 there's a field of ruin opponent 
Passing! Ugh. Well, that's more stuff we can't cast. Get in with Thunderkid. Hit our opponent. Yeah, this hand isn't looking as exciting. Ooh, opponent has Snapcaster. Well, alright. Do they go for Surgical or Opt? Goes for Opt. Well, at least this turns on our Fatal Push. So opponent gets to Opt. We hit our opponent for one. Down to 18. Opponent ups. Looking for that white mana. To the bottom. Opponent undeps. What do they find? Alright, Pluto Delta can get white mana. Painfully, but it does it does get the job done. Opponent cracks Pluto Delta. I mean, I guess we might end up cycling Unearth eventually if we don't draw anything. Hollowed Fountain untapped. Down to 15. Timely reinforcements. Huh. We could lightning bolt our own Thunderkin. Eh, all right, opponent gets blockers. Sure. I don't think we want to lightning bolt our own our own Thunderkin here. It's close. It's closer than it looks, probably. But we kind of want this bolt to kill Narset. Well, Inquisition. Ooh, Narset Detention Sphere Jace. Eh, take Narset. Pass the turn. Ooh, this Jace is scary. Opponent, untaps. Yeah, Timely was good for our opponent. There's the Jace. What does Jace do? Brainstorms. Okay. Still not good for us. At all. Although we do get to bold it. Yup. Finds a field of ruin. Opponent passing. Well, bolt Jace. Untap. Good god. Well, cycle on Earth. <laughs> Pass the turn. Yeah, this one's not really working out the way we hoped. We're just uh, so stuck on lands that we're giving our opponent so much time to get things uh, set up to where they want to be. Opponent, passing, holding up their cryptic. Well, let's play Dreadhorde Arcanist. Yeah, three lands in our top 15 cards. Counting our fetch land, that's just not going to get it done. Opponent, going to cryptic. Yep, counter draw. The problem is our opponent is eventually going to draw, like, a Teferi, another Jace, and then it's going to be very difficult to recover. Opponent, combat, passes, good god, still not lands, well pass the turn. Hmm. <laughs> no lands, no Faithless Lootings, no anything. Well, float a mana, grab a... Oh, this is so incredibly awkward. I guess we take a Mountain. Coligan's Command, Arcanist, opponent discards, and there's a Spell Pierce. Yup. Well, pass the turn. Uh, opponent. Well, Thunderkin's playing good D. Wow, still not a land. <laughs> We're up to turn eight with the two land plan. Opponent. And the longer this goes on, the worse for us. Wow. All right, no land, pass the turn. The longer this goes out, the worse for us because our opponent has more powerful late game stuff and we're just giving our opponent infinite time to get to the late game. Narset takes down Narset. Hits and oust. Oust Thunderkin. Well, Bolt Narset. Well, we gotta hope there's a land on top of our deck. Uh, opponent gets and hits us. Well, let's see what's on top. Needs to be a land. That's what we really, really, really need. Opponent passes. Oh, finally, finally! Well, Bloodstain Mire, crack Bloodstain Mire. Opponent's going to do Surgical Thought Seize. All right. Yeah, I mean, we don't have, we don't have any Thought Seizes in our hand. It's a weird thing to be afraid of. They get to see a hand that is overflowing with Ball Lightnings. Opponent nabs our Thought Seizes. We take a Blood Crypt. Untapped. And I think we just... Hmm. I think we just season Pyromancer. Discard a couple ball lightnings. Pass the dirt. Who? Let's see what our opponent has. Combat. Passes. Uh, play a mountain. Play ball lightning. Opponent. Kip, uh, cryptic. Counter draw. Sure. Now go attacking. Gotta get in damage one way or another. Things are not getting better for us the longer this game goes. Opponent blocks, unblocks, blocks, blocks. Yeah, kills our tokens. 
sure. Well, pass the turn. Opponent untaps. There's the land. Another field of ruin. Time might be an issue for our opponent. They are pretty low on the time scale. Opponent. Passing. Well, ball lightning. Again. Combat. Attack. All right. Pass the ball lightning. We're pretty okay with that. We'll take a swamp. Field of ruin. Well, float a mana just in case. Grab a mountain. Snapcaster. For path. Well, fatal push snapcaster. Opponent paths. Yeah. Well, there's our last basic. I got lands now. Is it too late, though? We'll see. Opponent untaps. No big bad planeswalkers, please. Opponent ops. To the top. Plays a land. And gets in for one. And passes. Ooh, Season Pyromancer. Well, I think we... Lightning Skelemental. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent has more paths. Well, Dreadhorn Arcanist. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. The Tension Sphere for our Arcanist. Yup, 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 yup. Opponent's not making it easy, that's for sure. Opponent gets in. Hits us to 12. Ooh, Inquisition. Well, let's Inquisition our opponent. Dovin's Veto. Well, Thunderkin Awakener. Go to combat. Attack. Get back ball lightning. Hit our opponent down to 10. Okay. And then Season Pyromancer. Draw a couple cards. Eh, pass the turn. I can't believe we haven't hit a a Faithless Looting. We're 32 cards deep without hitting a single one. We're putting up a good fight against this control deck, considering considering that we haven't hit a Faithless Looting, and we've been playing very fairly. Opponent. Ops. Looking for some love. To the top. All right. Well, opponent likes it. What did they keep? Supreme Verdict. Sweeps the board. Land. Tapped. Opponent passes. Ew. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's place a Healy. Opponent's last card is another counter. All right. They're empty-handed. We have run our opponent out of cards. Ooh, hopefully the top of our deck is good. And that's without a... S uh oh Opponent ops. That's not great. To the bottom. And passing. Passing. Hmm. All right. Let's pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Colonnade. Well, we will make some Pyromancer tokens. Untap. There's a looting, finally. Faithless looting. Discard two lands. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Down to seven. Dreadhorn Arcanist. Pass the turn. All right, opponent. Better find something good. Oh, opponent draws into another Wrath. All right, that is good. And a land, so they get to start attacking with Colonnade. Oh, yeah. We need to find a Skelemental. We need to find a Skelemental. Opponent hits us to eight. We untap. Faithless looting. Oh, dear. Discard. Discard. Faithless looting. Oh, God. Well, there's all the lands. Discard. Discard. And it's not looking good, boys and girls. It's not looking good. The fizzle is on. Opponent untaps. Wow! I can't believe we're going to lose this one. Colonnade. Yeah. Going to put us to four, which is one attack. Passes. Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh. So if we Faithless Looting, we draw two. Yeah, let's Faithless Looting. I don't think we have another Black Source. Yeah, we have two Blood Crypts, one Swamp. Well, I mean, all we can do is go for it. If we could, if we had a Black Source, so maybe this was a misplay. Maybe we should have held on to the Blood Crypt so we could potentially draw into Inquisition. Well, discard, discard. This is all we can do. Skelemental. Opponent had one top deck. Combat, attack. What was their one top deck? Wow. 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 
Okay, 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 okay. Ho, oh. oh. ho. Well, run it back. Oh, that was insane. I cannot believe we lost that. I can literally not believe we lost it. Oh, that, that was absurd. All right. Well, we couldn't find a land, and that got us off to a really slow start. Uh, I guess in hindsight, discarding the, the Blood Crypt didn't hurt us. We couldn't beat a Snapcaster there. Pona had one top deck. We ran about, I imagine that's about as bad as this deck can run. Like, as bad as the deck can run is how we ran, and our opponent had to top deck to win, with our deck running at 0% efficiency. Hey, right, I mean, we'll keep this. Black Cleave Glyphs. Faithless Looting. Discard, Skelemental, Skelemental. Gotta play around those Surgicals, pass the turn. Pluto Delta, opponent passing. I'll play a land, we gotta go for it. Thunderkin, opponent, looks like they have the answer. Hollowed Fountain, untapped. Go to combat, and there's the path. I'll grab a mountain. Yeah, that's not, that's not great. Huh, opponent, untaps. Ops, plays an island. Ooh. So I think our plan is Blood Crypt untapped. Play Sahili. Unearth. Make a dork. Go to combat. Get in with Skelly. Hit our opponent. Make him discard some cards. Down to 11. Wow, this would have been even more insane if our opponent didn't have that turn one path. Opponent down to 11. Discards a Narset. Supreme Verdict. Skelemental goes away for the tie being. We untap. Field of Ruin for our opponent. What's the follow-up? Can they deal with our Sahili? Narset. That doesn't deal with Sahili. Wait, do we win? Sahili? Target artifact becomes a copy of an another target artifact or creature. Oh, oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. Ball Lightning. Servo becomes a Ball Lightning. And Ball Lightning Tribal. Smashing through control. Woo! Game two was... Oh, game two was rough. But that shows the power of the deck. That was turn four. Through a path. It would have been even more devastating if our opponent didn't have the path for our Thunderkin Awakener. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Live in the ball lightning dream. And, uh, yeah. Sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are playing some ball lightning tribal in modern and no ball lightnings but this ends fine thought sees looting sees and pyromancer for more lootings seems reasonable yeah we'll keep it see what our opponent's doing we are on the draw here for game number one hollowed fountain untapped and mausoleum wander all right spirits by the looks well opponent passing play a mountain and yeah we'll just pass I think bolt this turn. Actually, maybe we just bolt right now. Yeah, let's just kill Mausoleum Wander. Get it out of there. Pass the turn. Opponent. Flooded Strand. And Mausoleum Wander, part two. Ooh. And part three. Temple Garden. Untapped. Oh, Noble High Arc? All right, there's a Noble High Arc. Well, our opponent doesn't have too much of a clock. We are going to hurt ourselves quite a bit this turn, but... So we draw Scalding Tarn. So let's just Blood Crypt untapped. Thought sees our opponent. Ugh. Hmm. Well, take Collected Company. Faithless Looting. Looking for more... Ooh, opponent sacks it. Okay, that's, that's actually good. We're fine with that, because that means we get to untap... Kill the Drog Skull Captain with the Coligan's Command. And the board is basically clear. Opponent runs out Drog Skull Captain. Goes to combat. Gets in. Hits us. Yup. Down to 15. We untap. Faithless looting. Well, this is slightly risky, but we're going to, we're going to try it. So, play the land. Pass. Stop on our opponent's draw step. So we gotta hope they don't draw something instant speed here. Cole against command. Opponent discards. Kill Drog Skull. Like if they top deck Rattle Chains or Collected Company, it's bad. But this is the highest upside line. Opponent. All right, Sacks a Rising Canopy. Ooh, got him. All right, discards a path. Well, that worked out pretty well. And Mausoleum Wander. Sure. Uh, opponent. 
Gets in for one. Down to 14. We untap. Well, I think we just play Scalding Tarn, Season Pyromancer, Discard, Discard. Well, we draw into double lands, but hopefully we can looting them away next turn if we don't draw anything. Pass the turn. Uh, opponent. What do they find? Waterlog Grove. We mostly just want to keep hitting removal. That is plan A, B, and C. Opponent cracks. Combat. Gets in for two. Uh, we'll take it. Down to 12. Uh, crack Scalding Tarn. Get a Blood Crypt. Tapped. Untap. Inquisition. Uh, let's Faithless Looting. Discard the two lands. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Down to 10. And then Inquisition. All right, just to land. Well, pass the turn. This is going to be close. Pony still has some really good draws. Pony. Untap draws. There's a land we knew about. Like, Collected Company is still absurdly good for our opponent here. Uh, Deputy of Attention still pretty good. Snags are two tokens. Yup. Well, let's see what we find. Pony untaps. Gets in. For two, down to nine. We draw. Like, Bolt or Fatal Push? Ooh, there's Bolt. So, play Young Pyromancer. Bolt the Deputy. Make a token. Go to combat. Get in with Season Pyromancer. Hit our opponent to eight. And then hopefully this Ball Lightning can close it out next turn. Opponent drops to eight. Well, gotta dodge just like Collected Company for one more turn. Opponent untaps. What do they find? Combat. Attacks. Gets in. Yeah. We drop to seven. Opponent passes. So could be collected company. Could be a land. Ooh, unearth. Except we don't have any creatures in our graveyard. So, well, ball lightning. Opponent. Alright. Combat. Attack. What's in the hand? What's in the hand? Is ball lightning going to close this out? Come on, no Cocos, no Cocos. And opponent scoops it up, and we got there, all right? Opponent didn't hit it, and Ball Lightning came through. Well, that was good. And now we get some decent sideboard options. Plague Engineer, great. A Braid is more removal. Uh, Engineer Explosives, I think it's worth it, even though it's not insane. And then we can go down a Neonate, go down the Thought Seizes. Hmm. What else do we cut? We want all of our removal. Discard's not bad in this matchup. It's not insane, but it's not bad. Maybe go down like an Arcanist, an Unearth, and the Young Pyromancer. Yeah, try it like that. All right, so we're on the draw against Bant Spirits. Up a game, and that's where we want to be. Um, ugh, okay. Well, we'll keep this. Only one land, but we got a bunch of removal. We got some ball lightnings. So this is a pretty solid one lander. Flooded Strand. Opponent Grax. And we have a Faithless Looting to find more lands if we're desperate. Hollowed Fountain. Tapped. Okay. Opponent passes. Well, since we drew a land, I think we just Inquisition. Deputy of Detention. Phantasmal Image, Remorseful Cleric. Well, we will take... What will we take? I guess Remorseful Cleric. Yeah, take Remorseful Cleric. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Cavern on Spirit. And passes. Well, let's... Faithless Looting. Huh. Discard Skelemental. Discard Ball Lightning. Play Bloodstained Mire. Pass the turn. So we whiffed on lands, which isn't great. But we have the possibility of Thunderkinning back a Skelemental next turn. Breeding pool. Untapped. All right. Well, that makes it less likely. Come on, land. Land? That's a land. Okay, that's good. So now we get to play the land, crack a Bloodstained Mire, grab a Mountain, Thunderkin Awakener, if opponent spell quellers, we just get to bolt the spell queller or fatal push, kill the spell queller. And if they can't deal with this, our opponent's got to hope they drew a path, basically. If they can't deal with this, then we get to get in the skeletal hit, which that's a lot of cards being discarded. Go to combat, attack, 
Returned, our friend Lightning Skelemental. Why did our opponent play the land untapped? All right, opponent, what do you got? It's working? Ho! Oh, hit our opponent down to 10. Make him discard two cards. And that's huge. That's a huge swing. Oh, it, when it works, this is really effective. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Uh, maybe this is just like a real deck. Who would have thought that Thunder Kidding Back Skelementals would be a real thing, but it's kind of looking like a real thing. Opponent trying to figure out which of their precious cards they get to keep. And I'm not even super scared of... Wow. Phantasmal Image Deputy Detention, go away. I'm not even all that scared of a collected company at this point when we have... I mean, there are things they could hit that would be bad, but in general, unless they hit, like, double Hexproof Lord, we can kill whatever they play. Uh, opponent. Wow. Okay. All right, sure. Those are some weird choices, but okay. Okay. Very confused why our opponent wouldn't have either tried to counter this or at least block it. Why just run out your spell queller end a turn? Oh, here's a Coco. Opponent's gonna cross their fingers and pray to the magic gods for some hits. What do they find? Opponent needs really good hits for this to uh, save them. Because we're getting back Skelemental again next turn if our opponent can't hit anything. And that'll finish emptying the hand. Okay, Drog Skull. Drog Skull Thalia. So that's decent, but not not game. We should still be fine. Opponent gets in. Staying aggro. Sure. So we drop to 16. We untap. We crack Bloodstain Mire. Get a mountain. Fatal Push Thalia. Lightning Bolt Drog Skull Captain. Thunder Kin. Get back Scalamental again. Get rid of the last card again. Put our opponent to three with a bolt in hand, and uh, I think that does it. I don't think our opponent can draw something that deals with everything, and that's what this deck could do, running over Bant Spirits. Whew. This deck feels really good. Opponent, land in hand, sure. Down to three. We temporarily lose our Skelemental. And all right, opponent, draw something good. I mean, the problem for our opponent is, even if they draw a way to, like, deal with Thunderkin, we just get to... All right, it's a Thalia. We just get to bolt their face, which is still lethal. Opponent passes. So they actually drew a way that they could survive our reanimation, but uh, they can't survive the Lightning Bolt. And... Whoo! Ball Lighted Tribal! Up to 2 and oh, Stop it over, people! <laughs> yeah, uh, this deck feels pretty good when it uh, when it's good. When it's good, it's really good. That's for sure. All right, all right. Much brew about nothing time. We are playing some Ball Lightning Tribal in Modern, and ooh, all right, something unfair is happening. Well, since our opponent's doing unfair things, I think we're leading on Thossies. Thawsey's first. Walking Ballista. So, probably like Eldrazi. Eldrazi Tron? Something like that. Um. Yeah, let's just take Blood Crypt. Untapped. Thawsey's our opponent. Simeon Spirit Guide. Oh, it's Mono Red Prison. Alright. Well, we're taking Chalice. We actually don't care that much about Blood Moon. It's like slightly annoying, and I'm gonna wish we got a Swamp, but it's not the end of the world. Opponent's gonna run out their Blood Moon, basically just empty their hand, which is fine. We get to untap, play a Mountain, play Dreadhorn Arcanist, pass the turn. We can always just discard the Unearth the Faithless Looting, Ramen Up Ruins, and ooh, Season Pyromancer. All right, Season Pyromancer is not bad. That's not bad for our opponent. Gets an Elemental, discards another Season Pyromancer. Well, that's Faithless Looting. Hmm. Discard. Discard. Go to combat. Attack. Flashback. Thought Seize. Targeting our opponent. Take Ensnaring Bridge. This does mean we're losing our... Arcanist. I assume. Wow, we're not losing our Arcanist. Interesting. Alright, opponent wants their token, I guess. Um... Play Black Cleave Glyphs, play Thunderkin, and pass the turn. Uh, opponent, Desperate Ritual, into 
Karn. All right. Eh, that's a good draw. That's actually a pretty good draw. Karn going to take up. Thankfully, there are ways away from actually being able to lock us. Opponent passes. Well, let's Faithless Looting. Discard Unearth Inquisition. Play a Mountain. Bolt the card. Go to Combat. Attack. Get back the Bolt. Bolt the card. Well, threat dealt with. We are basically out of action, though, at the moment. We could use our own Season Pyromancer. All right, now our opponent's going to double block. We will kill the Elemental. Lose our Arcanist. Pass the turn. Well, more Faithless Lootings are good. Land for our opponent. Season Pyromancer would be great. Ooh, opponent gets in. Sure, down to 11. I'll play Thunderkin Awakener. Play Dreadhorn Arcanist. Combat. Attack. Opponent down to 18. And see what they draw. Untaps. From playing the Mono Red Prison deck, they got some great draws and they got some bad draws. That's basically how this deck works. All right, it's a Desperate Ritual, which lets them get back Season Pyromancer, I guess, or like exile it. Yup, Season Pyromancer. Make some dorks. We draw Thunder Can Awakener. Well, go to combat. Get in with Arcanist. Flashback Unearth to get back Arcanist. Opponent blocks. And blocks. And blocks. Well. Kill an elemental. Pass the turn. Alright. Opponent. Legend rules themselves. And passes. Hmm. Well, play our swamp. And I guess we pass. Ooh, we need a ball lightning. If we draw a ball lightning, we'd start doing things. Opponent. Uh-oh. Big draw? Another card. That is a little scary. Come on, ball lightning! Or season pyromancer. Opponent passes. Oh my god. Play another Drenhorn Arcanist. Play Thunderkin Awakener. So awkward. Everything at Karn. <laughs> We've drawn every... Every Arcanist and Thunderkin. I think literally. I guess there's one Thunderkin left in our deck. Opponent blocks and blocks. Karn. Down to four. Ensnaring Bridge is going to make our life very hard, though. Uh, opponent. Another Season Pyromancer. Ooh, yeah, this might be going, this might be going south. Opponent gets to draw two cards, plays a land, takes up Karn. Well, come on, Dak, this would be our turn to draw something. It's a land. <sighs> oh, so awkward. Yeah, one, two, three, five, six. Everything at Karn. Flashback and Inquisition. Sure, we'll cast it. Opponent. Rabble Master. We lose two creatures, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this has been a really awkward draw. No ball lightnings whatsoever. And our opponent's draw's been, uh, been pretty solid. Kills our stuff. Karn drops to three. Sure. Hmm. Well, I feel like this should be a good matchup for us, but... We just have not run in a way that would make this a, a good matchup. <laughs> We've drawn about as awkward as you can with this deck. Just all the support cards, but no payoffs. Opponent in the tank. I don't know why they're tanking. I mean, I think we're basically to the concession part of the game. Yeah. Season Pyromancers blocking. They've also drawn a lot of Season Pyromancers, and we have not. Uh, opponent. Takes down Karn, so... I assume this means our opponent drew a land and they're just going to lattice lock us and then we can officially scoop it up. Lattice. Ritual. Yep. All right. And yeah, there's no way we can win from here. Sure. Well, that was awkward. That was pretty awkward. So we get to bring in three of braids. We get to bring in, huh, anything else? It's probably just the abrades. Bring in the abrades. Go down. Inquisition. Insolent Neonate and hmm and i guess maybe the young pyromancer i guess we should also have explosives although explosives doesn't beat karn eh, all right try it like that all right let's get a good hand this game we have well all right we'll keep this we have turn two we potentially have turn two skelemental hit discard skelemental discard faithless looting pass the turn all right, opponent, let's see what you got. It better be good. Opponent untaps. Mountain. 
Simeon Spirit Guide. Chalice? All right, it's a chalice on one, but that's okay. We untap, we play a mountain, we play Thunderkin Awakener, go to combat, attack, bring back our Skelemental Fred, smash our opponent down to three cards, and that's what this deck can do when it's doing its thing. Opponent, discard, discard. Karn, Desperate Ritual, well, we pass the turn, our Skelemental goes away for the moment. Hopefully we can do that again next turn and just close out the game. Opponent, untaps. They gotta deal with the Thunderkin or our graveyard. Land. Eidolon. That's fine. That's super fine. Uh, so we will play a mountain. A braid chalice. Take two. Fatal push. Eidolon. Take two more. And uh game? Game on turn three? I mean it's not literal game, but our opponent's gonna have two land Yeah, it's game! I mean that's essentially game. Opponent's gonna have two land zero cards and be at like six life, that is the power of this elemental and of this deck. Oh boy, oh boy, it can be so powerful. Yeah, um, run it back, run it back. One more like that. Actually, I think we, let's keep Inquisition and go down to Dismember. I think makes sense. Um, ugh. I don't think we can keep this. This is the hand that, that we lost win and gained one, essentially. All right, this one we will keep. We will put ball lightning to the bottom. Opponent went to five. Well, we'll see, see what our opponent has. Or going to four, oh boy. Embracing the London Mulligan to the max. Well, with our opponent going to four, it does not take many Skelemental hits to close out the game. Mountain for our opponent, spirit guide. And chalice on one. Chalice on one. All right. Well, now we just need to draw a land. Lightning bolt. That's not a land. Blood crypt. Go. As long as we draw a land in, like, the next two turns, that's all of this is fine. Ramen Emperor with opponent passes. Unearth. Well, we can cycle unearth to try to hit a land. And then Skelemental Season Pyromancer should close this out. Opponent. Land. Well, cycle unearth. Land, please. Inquisition. All right, there's the land. So, Skelemental. Clear the hand. Hit our opponent. Down to 14. All right, just a scavenger ground. So, I'll pass the turn. Opponent's going to need some good draws. Season Pyromancer. Well, that is a good... That is probably the best draw on our opponent's deck, honestly. Opponent passes. Well, we will... Season Pyromancer. Discard, Looting, and Inquisition. Bloodstained Mire. Pass the turn. I mean, our opponent's staying alive, hiding behind this chalice. Opponent. Wow. The luck of... The luck of uh, Mono Red. We were seeing the luck of Mono Red. Opponent takes up card. Passing. Well, crack Bloodstained Mire. Thin our deck. Take a Blood Crypt. Untap. More lands. Well, season Pyromancer. Attack Karn. Opponent. Gonna block. Oh, we need an Abrade. Or not block. Or block. All right, opponent blocks. Well, play a Mountain. Pass the turn. Come on, Abrade! Come on, Abrade! Opponent has some Karn action. What do they do with their Karn? Rabble Master for our opponent. I mean, that is also a really good draw. Takes up Karn. We might be losing here, as horrible and crazy as that sounds. Gets a Goblin. Attacks. Well, we'll block. Get back, Season Pyromancer. Well, Dreadhorn Arcanist. Play a land past the turn. Oh, this is so bad. We're fizzling. Oh, our opponent ran so well, and we have ran the opposite of so well. Whatever the opposite of so well is, that is that is how we're running here. Opponent. Karn takes it down. Gets a welding jar. Plays the welding jar. Makes a goblin. Attacks. Well, we block. Untap. Well, play Skelemental. Play Skelemental. Go to combat. Hmm. Do we just have to kill the Karn? Or do we attack our opponent and make him discard? <sighs> yeah, I think we have to kill the Karn. Yep, 
everything at Karn, unfortunately. Opponent eats a token. Oh, no! Oh, boy! Oh! Whoa! All right. Well, when you maul the four, you hope you run perfect, and our opponent has. Makes a goblin. Attacks. We block. We untap. I'll play Thunderkin Awakener. Combat. Holy. Wow. Okay, pass the turn. Oh, ho, 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 my heart is dropping. This is, this isn't good. This is not good. Opponent. Eidolon. Takes up Karn. Makes a dork. And yeah, uh, we're going to lose. We draw nothing. Um, yeah, we will play a land past the turn. Scavenging ground for our opponent. Oh, that's a, that's another insane draw. <laughs> Ticks down, and yeah, I think we're to the scoop part of the game. And this is uh, one of the more frustrating losses I think I've maybe ever had. <laughs> Definitely one of the more frustrating losses I've had in a long time. Because the odds of this are incredibly, incredibly low that our opponent would want run this way. But yeah, I mean, that's why you play the games. That is why you play the games. That's another land. I'll play Bloodstained Mire. Crack Bloodstained Mire. How many lands are left in our deck? We gotta, we gotta check this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we've gotten 11 of our lands out of our deck already. Opponent untaps. There's a land. And yeah, it's over. Opponent gonna start killing our lands. Sure. Makes a thing. Gets in. We block. Untap. Thought sees. Doesn't do anything. And, uh, yeah, we, well, I mean, we won't scoop. Oh, uh, I am very, I am, I'm heartbroken. I think if you started this game the way it started, we would win probably 99 times out of 100. Like, it's that unlikely that our opponent would run the way they did. Lattice, they drew the land, and, uh, yeah, we'll scoop it up. Sure. Well, uh, sometimes the miracles happen for your opponents, and this was one of those times. I guess, uh, hopefully we're due for a miracle in the future. Well, there goes the 5-0 dream in amazingly unfortunate fashion. Huh. All right. Well, on to the next. Uh, bigger and better things, I guess. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are playing some Ball Lightning Tribal in the modern format. And this hand looks good. Faithless looting. Discard Skelemental. Pray to the magic gods that we hit a land off this looting, and we're in business. Business to the max. All right, Bloodstained Mire. Crack Bloodstained Mire. This is the kind of hand we're looking for, that's for sure. Grab a Blood Crypt. Untapped. Looting. Yeah, there's a land. Discard Skelemental. Discard... Hmm. I guess Arcanist. Pass the turn. Uh, opponent. Antis Hovel. All right, reveals a prospector. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, that actually really hurts. We had big plans, and now our big plans are, are maybe over. Black leaf cliffs go. Ugh, yeah, that's not great. Uh, opponent, anti shovel part two, skirk prospector, and ether vial. Well, um. Yeah, I guess we just kill Prospector. Opponent gets the Vile. Come on! Some way to reanimate this Skelemental. That works. That's what we were looking for. Thunderkin Awakener. Combat. Attack. Skelemental. Returns. Opponent. Down to one card in hand. A single card, and they gotta have a card that deals with Thunderkin, or we are going to do this again and again until our opponent gives up land war marshal discarded and yep pass the turn uh, opponent bloodstained mire cracks it mountain and a matron all right so our opponents staying alive barely i think we're in good shape though this is what the deck can do when it gets its draws prospector yeah opponent's gotta have something to put into play well crack this take a blood crypt tapped Untap. 
Um, play Black Cleave Cliffs. Go to combat. Attack. Get back Skelemental. Opponent blocks and blocks. Well, we will kill Prospector. Opponent drops to four. Yup. Sure. Run out Season Pyromancer. Discard looting. Well, that's Ball Lightning. And pretty good chance Ball Lightning will seal the deal next turn. We can dismember too. Opponent untaps. They need a good draw. They need a great draw. It's land. And OG Ball Lightning. Uh, opponent scoops it up. Didn't even wait to see the Ball Lightning. Well, in this matchup, Plague Engineer is great. Explosives is good. A braid, probably. Go down to Dismember. Go down Thought Seize. Neonate. And I'm actually kind of skeptical of Discard altogether. Yeah, Custom Discard. Run it like that. Um, all right, we'll keep this. We got some nice graveyard value, potentially. And these level for our opponent. Untapped with a War Chief. And a Thought Seize. Hmm. Losing this Faithless Suiting is actually pretty bad, although the problem for our opponent is if we draw a land, it turns on the rest of our hand. Takes the Unearth, interesting. Opponent passes. Uh, Black Cleave Glyphs, Inquisition. Chain Whirler, Matron, Warchief. Well, we'll take Matron. Pass the turn. I think we're basically on the run our opponent out of cards plan. Uh, opponent. Mutavolt. It doesn't help with that Chain Whirler. We draw land, so in that case, Bloodstained Mire, crack Bloodstained Mire. Grab a mountain, and we will just Dreadhorde Arcanist. Get the value going for next turn. Uh, opponent, untaps. Cavern, and Prospector. Okay, opponent's passing. Well, we can do some good work with this Arcanist. Let's Faithless Looting. Discard Ball Lightning. Discard Thunderkin Awakener. Go to combat. Attack with Arcanist. For Inquisition. Inquisition, our opponent. Get rid of the War Chief. Opponent activates Mutavault, so we will just bolt the Mutavault. And I feel like we're in pretty good shape. We have an endless stream of graveyard value. Pass the turn. Uh, there's the Chain Whirler. Yeah, we knew about that. Opponent passing. Oh, this turn's going to be sweet. Now we get to Thunderkin Awakener. Combat. Double attack. Arcanist gets back Lightning Bolt to kill Chain Whirler. And we get back Ball Lightning. Yeah, Chain Whirler down. And this is what... This is what Ball Lightning Tribal can do. When life is good, this is what it can do. All right. Yup. Dies, dies. Uh, opponent. Mountain. Prospector. And this looks pretty much like game to me. Bolt the Prospector, flash it back face, ball lightning attack, and... Huh! Uh, that was a massacre. Opponent. Passes. Well, we will... Lightning Bolt Prospector. And we got the GG's. Go to combat. Attack. Arcanist for the Bolt. Thunderkin Awakener. And this adds up to lethal. Bolt the face and... Huh! Wow. Well, we just uh, kind of tore goblins a new one with our infinite ball lightnings. Whew. All right. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are playing some ball lightning tribal in modern. And we'll keep this. I mean, we got a skeletal. We got some discard. This is a reasonable hand in most matchups. Whew. All right, let's see what our opponent's doing. Uh, Tron? All right, well, I don't know if it's a reasonable hand versus Tron. Bloodstained Mire, crack it. Yeah, losing the die roll might end up hurting in this one. Blood Crypt, untapped, and thought sees our opponent. Oh, it's Eldrazi Tron. Well, take, hmm, all these are bad for us. I think we gotta take Chalice, pass the turn. Uh, opponent. Oh, boy. That's unfortunate. Well, Mountain. Oh, this doesn't work. They can Warping Whale. Inquisition. Oh, oh man. 
Our opponent's running in this league has been really insane. Faithless looting. Discard Inquisition. Discard Skelemental. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, this deck feels so good, but it is... It just hasn't worked out exactly the way we were hoping. There's the tower. Opponent locks into Tron, as Tron players tend to do. Plays an Ugin. Makes a dork. Opponent passes. Well, we untap. Play a mountain. Thunderkin Awakener. Fatal push the spirit. Opponent draws a card. Go to combat. Attack. Get back Skelemental. Kill Ugin. And see what our opponent drew into. We know that there is a... We know that there is a Eldrazi Temple, but we'll see what else there is. Opponent untaps. Tower, so the Tron lands keep flowing. I swear to the magic gods that we are cursed. Karn takes down, gets a Worm Coil Engine, and we'll scoop it up. The <laughs> All right, so uh, bring in Fulminator Mage. The things that are happening are literally blowing my mind. <laughs> literally, my mind is being continually blown over and over again at just how at, uh, at how this has been going. So we will go down some Inquisitions, uh, bring in a bit more removal, go down a Lightning Bolt, try it like that. Uh, all right, but well, we get to play first. And, I mean, I guess this is a fine, fair hand, although... I'm sure our opponent will will have some sort of miraculous four-card hand here. Opponent's doing some mulliganing. Down to three. Well, if we lose with our opponent on a mold of three, we will know that it just... <laughs> that we are just cursed by the magic gods. Cursed to the max. Scalding Tard go. Opponent untaps. Power plant. Expedition map. All right, so looks like our opponent's going to have the mold of three Tron draw. Get a blood crypt. Opponent passes. Well, we will play Black Cleave Glyphs and Dreadhorde Arcanist. Pass the turn. Opponent. Blast Zone. And Chalice on one. Okay. Opponent passes. Now, Scalding Tarn. Crack Scalding Tarn. Get a Mountain. Skelemental. Skelemental. Get our opponent's last card. Hit our opponent down to 13. Pass the turn. Okay, so opponent is going to assemble Tron. Opponent passes. Um, let's Thunderkin Awakener. Combat, attack. Get back Skelemental. Hit our opponent. Down to five. Play Bloodstained Mire. Skelemental goes away. I think we should be good. <laughs> I think we should be. Opponent. Vlasode is ticked up. All right, not assembling Tron. Well, opponent untaps. Naturally draws Tron. Okay. Well, we will crack Bloodstained Mire. Get a Blood Crypt. Tapped. Untap and Skelemental. Going to close it out. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's OG Ball Lightning them. Ball Lightning. Huh. Okay. Ball Lightning number three. Going to get the job done. Huh. Our opponent still balled to three and had Tron on turn four. And could have had on turn three if they wanted. Oh, the magic gods. The magic gods didn't want us to win that one, but but we beat them. Every once in a while, we beat the magic gods. All right, we're on the draw. Opponents troning. Man, this has been a heartbreaker. This has been literally a heartbreaker. I feel like we were on the cusp of going 5-0 with this deck. Like, right on the edge. So close. Opponents keeping seven. We're going to mulligan, I guess. Hmm. One land can't cast much, so I guess we're still mulliganing. All right, we'll keep. Ball lightning to the bottom. Fatal push to the bottom. Yeah, that's what we got. All right, opponent. Let's see it. Let's see the dreams. Eldrazi temple. And expedition map. Opponent passing. Well, we will play Bloodstained Mire. We will crack Bloodstained Mire. Grab a mountain. Faithless looting. Discard Ball Lightning, discard a Braid, pass the turn. Not looking great, not looking great. Ponet, what do they got? Power Plant passes. Well, now I wish we had discarded something else if I knew we were going to draw 
Skelemental. Well, Dragon Skull Summit. Go. Opponent does not crack Expedition Map. Instead, has Eldrazi Temple. Number two. And a Matter Reshaper. Opponent passing. Well, play a Swamp. Well, I think we just... Skelemental. Play Skelemental. Go to combat. Get in. Opponent has a dismember. All right. Dream still dying. Okay. Opponent untaps. Power plant. Six mana for Eldrazi. Yeah, it's in with matter reshaper. Sure. Well, let's see what we draw. Down to 16. Opponent passes. Bloodstained Mire. Well, play Bloodstained Mire. Unearth Skelemental. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent has Warping Whale. Well, Crack Bloodstained Mire. Take a Mountain. Run out Fulminator Mage. <clears throat> Blow up Eldrazi Temple. Oh, we're still not catching any breaks. That is for sure. Opponent sacks Expedition Map. Gets a land. Uh, cursed by the Magic Gods to the max. Opponent gets another Tron piece. Sure. I mean, I'm sure they will luck into Tron in something huge. Opponent. What do you got? What do you got? There's the mine. And that's Reality Smasher. And that looks like games to me, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my goodness. This might go down as literally the most disappointing league that I have ever played. Ball Lightning, not going to get it done. And we will scoop it up. Wow. Well. You can't fight the magic gods. That's our wrap-up for today. You can't fight them. You can't fight them. So what do we learn this week about Ball Lightning Tribal in Modern? And the deck was really awesome, and the league was really weird. So I gotta tell you really quick the story of the league before we talk about the deck. So we started off 0-2, really good. Round 3, we were 1-1 one one against Modern Red Prison. Our opponent mulliganed to 3, got hit by a Skelemental to have... I believe three lands and a Chalice of the Void is all they had. Hand empty, no more action, and they somehow parlayed that into winning the game with the help of Season Pyromancer especially. So that was like a ridiculously frustrating loss that I still can't believe we lost. Then round four, we played against Jund. You didn't actually get to see this. Here's what happened. I was playing Jund. We won game two on a mold of five, and I did the like, yeah, thing, and I hit my desk, knocked my computer off the desk, out of the floor. It shattered. It shut down uh, thankfully i was able to get it restarted but i lost that video so i had to replace that with another match and then we went on to lose a kind of heartbreaker to eldrazi tron as well so i felt like our deck was so close to like five owing a league so the overall record we went two and three in our league although my goodness I felt like it should have been a 5-0, or at least a 4-1. We were so close in every one of those matchups. And then we had the fill-in match from a two-player two because of the knocking the computer on the floor and ruining everything, uh, just ruining the video thing. So anyway, Ball Lady Tribal, it felt like it was pretty competitive, despite the fact that our record wasn't as good as we wanted. I felt like the Magic Gods kind of conspired against us a little bit to let our opponents run really well. Maybe there were mistakes on my end, I don't know, but it felt really close to being like a 4-1 or 5-0 style deck and I gotta say the plan of the deck was a lot more effective than I thought it would be like getting back ball lightnings and skelementals repeatedly that is actually really effective it's especially scary with skelemental if we could have eight skelementals the deck would be even better the original ball lightning it's nice that it gets in damage it is a lot of damage with thunderkin awakener but it's the power to empty our opponent's hand with skelemental that really pushes the deck over the top I think the biggest challenge we had in some of our losses was just kind of flooding out as awkward as that is with four faithless suitings in two season pyromancers it seems like we should be able to like filter through our deck regularly but we had some games where we just drew like most of our lads didn't draw any faithless suitings to filter away extra lads and kind of just didn't hit enough action and that's one of the problems with the deck the deck does have the downside of it is it does have a bunch of pieces it's kind of like this weird combo deck sometimes you have games where you just draw a ton of thunderkin awakeners and a ton ton of Dreadhorn Arcanists, but no elementals to actually smash our opponent, no ball lightnings. Other 
other games, you smash him with a couple ball lightnings, but don't draw the ways to recur them, and the opponent gets down to like four life or something, and you can't quite close it out. So there is some weird inconsistency and some awkwardness. Like, Thunder Kid Awakener is not a good card, unless there's a Skelemental or Ball Lightning in the graveyard, then it's a great card. So there's like this high variance, and I wonder if we could smooth it out by adding maybe more Season Pyromancer, which Season Pyromancer with an Earth is insane anyway, just being able to repeatedly reanimate it, churn through your deck, so I'm wondering if maybe we drop the young Pyromancer, maybe drop, like, the Dismember and go up to four season Pyromancers to essentially have, like, eight copies of Faithful Suiting in the deck, and I feel like that would downgrade the variance quite a bit. Also, not really sold on Insolent Neone, it's very underpowered, like, yes, you could play it on turn one like a backup Faithful Suiting to discard a Skelemental, reanimate on turn two, and admittedly, the deck is most insane in games where we get a Skelemental in specific in the graveyard on turn one, turn two, get it back with Thunderkin. We could just run away with games really quickly when that happens. So I feel like maybe uh, there could be some slight changes around the edges to improve the consistency, but the core of the deck was surprisingly solid, and the plan of repeatedly getting back Ball Lightnings and Skelementals, it felt really legit and can do some really scary things, like especially with Leaded Mulligans, where people are mulliganing a little bit more in the format, it is really easy to hit with a Skelemental on turn two and essentially leave your opponent unable to play Magic, and even if they can play Magic a little bit, if you can get it back again on turn three with a Thunder again to unearth, that usually closes out the deal. So there is this free win potential. So I think my feeling is the deck is really close to where it needs to be. And I feel like looking back at our matches, I really am disappointed we did go like at least 4-1 with the deck. Our losses, we were so close. Uh, and the magic odds kind of conspired against us a little bit. So I felt like we should have had uh, most of the time, if we ran back to the same league in the same matchups a bunch of times, I think we would go at least 3-2 and more often 4-1 with the same set of matches, same deck, same thing. We just had some weirdness throughout the league. So I feel like this is a deck that is much better than our record actually suggested, but I do think it could be improved. So more season Pyromancer, maybe drop the Neonate, maybe drop a young Pyromancer, which wasn't very impressive. Uh, more season Pyromancers for filtering to deal with the flooding problem, to add consistency, to give us more ways of getting our ball lightnings and skeletons in the graveyard, because honestly, Honestly, they're much better when we're reanimating them, especially ball lightning. While casting a ball lightning on turn three and attacking, it's fine. It's much better if we'd have them in the graveyard, get them back incidentally almost with our Thunderkin Awakeners or with our Unners. So I feel like the deck is super close to where it needs to be. And even in its current form, it's really fun. It's really powerful. And oh man, I think our record should have been a little bit better, but you never know. That's why you play magic. But with a few upgrades, it might be even better. So anyway, that's been ball all lightning tribal for modern and that's been our much brew deck for this week so thank you so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here